Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Eye YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to attempt to create a rainbow heart wreath using a stamp set from the latest Gina K Designs card kit, a rainbow of her inks, and the wreath builder. I hope you'll stick around and see if this is going to work. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm not sure how this video today is going to go. When I first got my wreath builder, I thought, you know what, it would be fun to make a wreath of different colored hearts, but I didn't really have the right heart stamp until I got the newest card kit from Gina K Designs. It is the A Big Hello card kit, and it comes with a Valentine's or a Galentine's Day set, and it has this little heart in it right here. So I got out a rainbow of my Gina K Designs ink cubes, a three and three quarter inch piece of white cardstock, that stamp set, and my wreath builder, of course. And I'm gonna see today if I can figure out how to make this so the pattern looks good and I can make it into a card. When I do start the process, I will go to a voiceover. So let me know if I leave you with any questions. If you do have any, make sure to leave those in the comments section below. Let's get crafty. To choose the inks for my rainbow, I got out my Gina K Designs ink swatch chart and then I picked out which colors I wanted and got out the coordinating ink cubes from my little boxes. I used some scotch removable tape to tape my template down inside my Misty and then I got started on the wreath. I put down my three and three quarter inch cardstock square, got my heart out and figured out the placement for the first one, and then I inked that up in red and stamped it eight times around the outside. The red that I chose to use is red velvet. Once I had all of my red velvet hearts stamped, I cleaned off my heart and then I arranged it next to the red heart. I did tilt it a little bit, you'll see there it's facing another way. And then I stamped it eight times in the tangerine twist ink. Next it was time for the yellow hearts. I followed the same process, but this time I used the wild dandelion ink. For the green, I chose Lucky Clover, and this was probably about the point where I realized all of my colors might not fit. And that thought did come true. When I was stamping with the blue raspberry ink, they started to overlap each other. I went ahead and stamped four of those, so I turned it two times on my Misty. And that's when I decided that to pull in that purple color, I would use the Wild Lilac ink for my sentiment. So I got out the one I wanted to use, which is just a Happy Valentine's Day. I inked that up, and then I pulled out one of the dies from my stash to die cut that from the paper. I don't have a coordinating die that creates a border for this shape, so I decided to go ahead and make my own. Luckily, I got a piece of wild lilac cardstock with the kit, so I adhered my sentiment to the cardstock and then just hand cut and hand trimmed my own border around that sentiment. I wanted to have a little border around my rainbow piece, 
So I got out a scrap of black cardstock and then adhered those two pieces together. Off camera previously, I had went ahead and cut and folded a square card base that is four and a quarter by four and a quarter when folded, and I placed my rainbow just straight down onto that card front. And then to give the card a little extra lift, I got out some Stampin' Up! dimensionals for my sentiment. And here is a look at the finished card. Well, like I mentioned at the beginning, this was more of a test than anything else. I didn't have room for the purple ink hearts, but I think if I did it over again, if I started some of these closer together, I think I could have fit them all in there. But I did go ahead and pull that purple in with the sentiment, and then you can kind of see that blue peeking out behind it. If you enjoyed this little test today, I hope you'll give my video a thumbs up. Until my next one, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools that I use in the video, I do have some links in the description box.